it's not only about a game, you know, it's about the people, you know, it's about the love that we share, you know, hockey unites people. When you think of India, hockey usually doesn't come to mind, but for a group of women, they're here to bring the love of the game back home. For these girls, it's, it's tough. You know, they have to make their own ice, they have to take care of their own ice, they have to uh, fight and scrap for you know, usable equipment. Team India has come all the way to Canada to learn more about the sport they love and take part in Wickfest, the women's hockey tournament hosted by four-time Olympic gold medalist Haley Wickenheiser. They watched a Calgary Flames practice, had a tour of the team's dressing room, received autographs from players, and even got a special visit from hockey legend Wayne Gretzky. The time we entered, it was like awestruck. We were all starstruck. We were like, what is this? I mean, it's true. Like, I was really telling my friends, pinch me, you know. Are we dreaming? Are we dreaming? I'm like, no, we're not dreaming. And then seeing the players who you look up to when you, you are back at home, you know. I really look up to these people and then really motivate myself. And I think... I think most of the girls, they did the same, you know, they look up to them and then seeing them for real and then playing how good they are, it's really, really amazing. The team's goalie also received a very special gift from Flames netminder Mike Smith. I just wanted a fist bump from him, that's it, you know, that's it. Oh my God. Uh, this this is an experience that we would have never got, like you know, if it weren't for everybody who has put in so much of effort and yeah, so this is amazing, like once in a lifetime experience. One of the the most passionate things that they told me when they came here after a day was that in Can in Canada they are treated better and they feel like they're more popular than they were in India. What will the girls walk away from this experience? Um, they have confidence to think about the future of what they want to do. They have goals, they have hopes, they have dreams. But the biggest thing that they're going to do is take back the skills that they learned and teach the little four and five year olds that we were able to do development camps with in January. I think that's where the difference is going to be made. It might not be next week or next month, but maybe in three years we'll see those kids develop into strong hockey players or different various sports. In Calgary, Kendra Fowler, City News.